when performing net present value calculation to value an investment based on cash flows, the XNPV function allows you to put in the required rate of return for the period, the cash flow values, and the dates associated with those cash flow values. And that's different than the NPV function, which requires the cash to come at the end of equal time periods. So we can use XNPV. There's our required rate of return, comma, the values. And look at this. Here's the other difference between NPV and XNPV. We can put the cost at time 0 directly into the cash flows, comma, and then we put our dates. The way this works is it'll discount all of the cash flows after the first one, get a discounted cash flow value. It'll compare it to the cost. And if there's added value, then it will give a positive number. Now, really, this video is about what is the algorithm for XNPV. Because if you do the same cash flows for XNPV and NPV, there's a slight difference. And here's the reason. Because we're using dates, the exponent isn't in a regular period. It's a time exponent where it's some number dividing all the days by 365. So to see the algorithm, we're going to take this value right here and divide it by in parentheses, 1 plus the period rate. Our period rate happens to be yearly. And we're going to lock that value, F4, close parentheses. And then we have to raise it, so caret. And we're going to have a couple of calculations. So we open parentheses, open parentheses. And here's where we calculate the days. Notice that's the first day, and all subsequent dates are bigger. So I'm going to take as a relative cell reference, that serial number date, and subtract from it the absolute. What happens is here, it's going to give us 0, which is exactly what we want at time 0. But down here, it'll subtract the larger date from the smaller date to get number of days. Close parentheses, and then we divide by 365. Now in leap year, this is just an assumption. We're going to miss that day in leap year. Close parentheses. And now when I control enter, because it's at time 0, that cash flow is exactly the same. But all of these cash flows, including the last one, F2, are discounted back to time 0. Alt equals to add them up. And so we've looked at the algorithm, and we proved it. Well, guess what? We don't even have to do it this way. And here's your bonus formula. We can do the whole thing in a single array formula. So we'll say sum, because we're going to add all of these cash flows. And then we need to divide all of these values. So we divide, open parentheses, 1 plus, and there's our rate, close, and a caret, open, open, all the dates, minus the first date, close parentheses, divide by 365, close parentheses, close. And when I hit Enter, bam. There's the algorithm all in a single cell. All right, so that's a little bit of fun with XNPV. We'll see you next video.